Tell me what's the use in holding on if we can't be friends. I'm emotional and I can't let go. I am trying to hold on to you. Though it hurts me so, gotta let it go. That the love we were shared now is through. Stop being emotional. That's my thought of the day. Because your emotions are killing you when it comes to weight loss. Emotional eating. Letting stuff set you off to make you want to run to that carrot cake or that red velvet cake. Understand, problems will occur, but it's how you handle those problems. I, I, me personally, I have stuff that go on day in and day out that just go in my head. Because you have to take it for what it is and you have to separate yourself from the emotion. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, what you're doing is somebody that made me bad, somebody that pissed me off. I can't believe he said this to me. He know I'm insecure about my fatness. <laughs> what you do. Now, if somebody done insulted you about something not looking right, help me. How is it helping you to go eat some cake if somebody already said something that's unfavorable to how you look? How's that helping? Well, well, you said I look big in this dress, so let me go get some chicken wings, or let me go order pizza, or let me go get some Ben and Jerry's. I'm going to cut up. How is that helping you? It's not. So what you have to do is you have to recondition yourself. Instead of doing stuff that's going to be harmful and detrimental to your weight loss, start doing something that's going to Help your weight loss. Somebody make you mad instead of curling up with that ice cream and watching Go to Girls? Go for a walk. Get that stuff up off of you. Um, one of the girls doing the conference call says, you know, uh, food doesn't require, require anything of me. It makes me feel a certain way. Um, you know, it, it makes me feel good for the moment. See, that's the problem. People like dealing in the moment but don't understand that there are repercussions to what you did in that moment. You know, your, 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 your body ain't going to say, well, you know what, I'm going to give her a break today because she wasn't feeling good. So I'm not going to attack her and make her bigger uh, because she done had a hard day and I'm not going to hop on her. Sight. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. So you have to start putting yourself in a position to win. The greatest killer of weight loss is getting caught in your feelings, your feelings in the now. If I'm the devil, y'all easy. A lot of y'all just easy. All I got to do is send somebody to make you mad, and it's a wrap. He'll be sick. He'll, he'll be, I can't believe they treat me like that. I'm doing good when I got thyroid problem. Look, right. You can't be so easily used by your emotions because your emotions will kill you, not just in weight loss, but in all different areas of your life. It will short you of your blessings. It really will. Look, it's so funny. It's so funny how life is because I was going to send somebody somewhere, but then they got upset with me <laughs> and decided not to. Be cool with me because of the emotions of the now. I'm glad I saved myself a trip. But at the end of the day, again, you short yourself by your feelings. Emotional eating has to stop. You have to rewire your system to do positive stuff that's going to help you because at the end of the day, you're just delaying being the person you were meant to be. So continue to push. We got awesome stuff to do. I hope that helped a lot of people, but again, take the emotions out of it, face what's wrong with you, and keep it moving because there's always going to be problems, but it's how you handle those problems that decides if you're going to win or lose. So let's work on that emotional eating piece uh, for the next few days and doing something different. Also, journal. I need you to start writing down stuff. Journal how you handle certain situations. Like this, right on one side, 
had issues at job, then on the other side, this is how I handled it in a positive way. You know, it's very easy to snap on people, cuss at people, this, that, and other. But you have to do, because at the end of the day, all you're doing is toxifying your spirit and messing yourself up anyway by even, you know, fraternizing with it. So do something positive. Don't do anything that's detrimental to self. Somebody made me mad at work on this side. Boom, this is how I handled it in a positive way here. I went and got a massage. I went for a walk. I went to go work out, blew off some steam, read a book. Boom. So you're doing stuff different. You can't continue to do the same old, same old because that's why you're here now. So you have to do something different. So with that being said, journal. Uh, continue to press and push and, and remind yourself constantly of who you want to be. Keep that image in your mind of who you want to be. Even if you have to cut out pictures and, and put it in your car, do it. If you have to put it on your mirror, do it. Because you're not where you want to be, but if you don't know where you want to go, then that's just as bad. So that's what's up. So that's my thought of the day. Don't get your car, Thomas. Oh, bye.